lot more birds in the morning now. We are going to head out here to enjoy a little bit more of the evening. I was just up in the woods. I always grab a few pieces of kindling, you know, to bring back a few branches. A lot of them up there, and every time I bring some back, i got enough for the next couple days, you know, for starting that fire. You guys have seen me open this door up like this, but just the screen door throughout the winter. It's gonna be in the 50s today. It's in the 40s now, and it feels fine out here. I mean, look at me, I'm out here in a t-shirt, right? Totally warm. I mean, I'm just stepping out the door for a couple minutes. I think you'd be fine out here with maybe a sweatshirt and windbreaker on, you know, and you'd be very comfortable. I mean, it's a spring day out here. And uh, usually, the beginning of March is atrocious, you know what I mean? We're, it's, we're in the thick of it, you know, it's like, it's very much winter and it's very much cold. And we've seen none of this before, you know, I mean, I mean, what do I mean? I mean, March is a, what I mean, take two. Forget anything I just said, or at least the last 30 seconds. March is usually a tough month, you know? Even the beginning of April can be. As my mom would say, uh, we don't start to see warm weather around here. The warmer weather or any real signs of spring until May, you know? A week into May, typically. But man, things have been changing rather quickly, right? Over the last couple of years, I don't know. Maybe we're not having winter this year. I keep saying that, you know, it could happen because it could happen. It could happen for the next five, six weeks. Anyway, today I'm going to be going to Fort Edward to their UPK program. I'm going to have to... I'm checking in there at 12.30 to 1. Now that's my gig for today. Tomorrow I've got uh, several gigs in the Cam Cambridge Buskirk area. And that just goes on through, for the rest of the week. Uh, busy, busy with the music, man. I mean, whether I'm doing the gigs or sending out the information for the gigs, you know, after I booked it or just booking the gigs, it's full time. And I love it. I'm so happy that I'm doing this, you know, like all the time now. I think I found my niche in the music business, you know. This is it. I mean, I, I was always in the kids thing, but I hadn't really found the niche that I kill it in, and I think this is the one. Yep, playing for the diaper crowd, I say. Basically anyone from six months to uh, seven years old or so, I can hold them, man. And, and you think that's easy? It's not. I mean, it's not, all right? It's a skill. And I have fine-tuned it, folks, over the last 30-plus years, and I finally got it now, man. Took me till I was almost 60, but I think I got it. And I plan on riding out on this one, you know? I mean, this is what I'm gonna do. Till I can't do it anymore. Over there, it's still frozen. I 
I've got to go deliver something to a filmmaker by the name of Roger. This is one of uh, Keenan's, um, one of Keenan's people, man. And he's got a, some DVDs he wants me to drop off at Roger's. So that's what we're going to do before we uh, head to the school. Yeah, these are river people. This is how we know them. And then, you know, relationships develop. This guy's a filmmaker as well. He's, he's you know, well, I'm not quite sure how much more time he has here on uh, planet Earth. But then again, we really don't know how much more time any of us have, right? Jack, easy on the bumps here, okay? All our river friends here. It's so funny how you know the people on the river. I know people that live two miles down from here just because they live on the river. I'm sure to tell whenever I meet somebody, I'm like, hey man, we're river people too, you know? Like if we're out for a walk and we're maybe a couple miles from home. I always let these people that live by the river know that we are also part of that community. And we get it, man. That's why we're there. We're river folks. I'm River Jack Z. My wife is River Bliss. I mean... That's a name that she had. I think she's still, she's still River Bliss. But uh, I don't think she uses that name as much. But she'll always be River Bliss. All right, this is Roger's house up here. They're the people that own another Airbnb, or it's a little artist cottage on the left-hand side, and then they are on the uh, right hand side up here you know it's a really nice place both of these places are look at this though right all right i'm gonna just go drop this on their porch so we're following the uh, canal here it's a neat little place to picnic i've done this with my parents before both sides of the road uh have places where you can pull over and there's several bridges across this or there's what is there like two or three bridges along the canal way that get you over to this other side here which is almost like an island out there i guess they let all the water out in the canal way during the winter or most of it i'm always thinking that would be a great thing to skate on wouldn't it if that was frozen and there wasn't any snow would be perfect Eagle's nest up there. Oh, that's an osprey, not eagle. Anyway, uh, this is basically a straight drive almost. I just, from my house, I, I'm, I'm literally on just two roads. That's it. 15 minute drive. No problem, man. No problem. This is all river community along here, too. Because the Hudson's right over here to the left. Should get a view right here. Yep. There you go. Look at these open fields and just down there's the water. There's a nice barn setting there, you know? Perfect, man. And there's little roads that drive down near the water. All these little hidden places. You know... I say you go out and discover what's in your own backyard. You know, really dig into it anywhere within a even just a 10, 15 mile radius. It's you could go forever, man, in any direction, you know, and really explore it. Have you been down every single street in a town? Or taken their dirt roads or or gone down the pathways? You know, these little places that each town finds and they're they're hidden. They're not known about, and that's for a reason, because they're awesome. And you can go out and find them. You could do it by vehicle. You could do it by bike. You could walk. You could run. Look at these RVs. I mean, 
there's so many ways to just have fun within your own little area that you live and you could just go out and, and really explore it say I'm going to go out and find out what this place is about you know maybe some of the neighboring towns depends on the areas you live in I know around here it just goes on and on forever I could not even begin not even touch the surface of what is around me but we are going to touch the surface adventure is everywhere man I think the library theme this year is something like I wrote a song the other day when I visited a library about high adventure and it has to do with high adventure and I say high adventure is wherever you decide to make it sometimes a little creativity is needed but nonetheless alright this is the champagne champagne the Champlain Canal we've been following here. Look how dry it up that is. Oh boy. Woo. I've not seen it like that, actually. Uh, anyway. We are now in Fort Edward. And I'm putting the camera down because I can't help it. You know, this old train train bridge here, train trestle, what do you call that? I don't know. I'm not sure of its name. Okay, that was fun, I guess, today. <laughs> so today's the first day back from vacation. These kids love it. They absolutely love it. Oh my god, were they full of energy. Not only that, it was right after lunch, 12.30, they're tired, but full of energy too. First day back from the school, a little bit of a transition needed before we're back to where we were before we left for vacation. It was fine. It was just like, woo! <sighs> Tell you what, man. Adding that cajon with the kick drum on it. And I got a just a special little setup there. It's a little bit more involved than that. But it is freaking cool. Yeah, this is an area I'd like to explore down here, you know? Evergreen Bicycle Works. That's like an old train station, though. Maybe there's a, a bike shop in there as well. But I do know this is actually a place where people take the train. Look. They're waiting for the train. Yeah, they are. I'll go the way I know. And that'll be good. Get some fresh air because it's balmy out. Along with the the new is the old, you know. They stand side by side. There's a sweet view of that old river. How about that? This is a fun road to uh, drive on. It's just like this, it just feels, feels very open, you know? I used to take my lawnmower there. Maybe I'll start, well I don't need to anymore, I don't have a lawnmower. But I think he does snow blowers too. The thing is, I don't have any way to get it to him. Whoever's working on my snow blower has to come pick it up. I like how you can see, you know, like the trees, little leaves on the trees right now, so. You can really, the view, you can see everything. Oh, sometimes I talk such nonsense. I'm jibber jabbering away. I felt the slightest bit out of sorts today. I never had to ride a bus as a kid. Boy, that looks nice. I love the way the sun is reflecting off that water. Uh, I never rode the bus as a kid. I'm so glad I did. Look at the canal way there. My thoughts are all over the place, but I don't know if you guys can see that. Run 
right along the side of the road here. So no bus for me when I was a kid, I walked. And that was awesome. My brake light just came on right now. But you know what? Let me see. I've got 1,400 miles on this. I had to put a little brake fluid in there at um, about 200 miles, maybe 250. And I've gone that many miles without having to put any more in. So I'll just check that out. I think everything's all right. Yep. Can I get there a little bit too? It's happening. My wife found the daffodils they're coming up i don't know their uh, lady of the winter whatever your name is called not much of a winter this year wouldn't you say yeah we have not had much of a winter all right just back from a walk with my wife that was a great walk. We were out there in our sweatshirts today. People were out walking around in shorts, you know, t-shirt. It was that kind of day. And it's still in the mid-50s. My wife reminded me that it's been three or four years since we've really had any kind of winter. I mean, we have not used our snowshoes in years. I've snow blowed my driveway not even three times in the last two years. Maybe something's up. 53 right now. Unbelievable, right? Talking with one of our elders today, a guy named Dave, you know my friend Dave, Judge Dave. Smart guy, good guy. I don't know. Actually, I'm not going to talk about this. Let's just enjoy the sun because it was gloom and doom stuff, you know, of what's to come because we don't know how to behave and life is life and this is just the way it is. Grateful to be here right now. I'm looking at these trees right now and I'm thinking, man, it would be cool to just be right up there and, you know, feeling the, the sun beating on you, you know, and being high up in those trees. And Well, we can get a little closer. Looks like you could jump branch to branch, but I'm sure that's not the case. There she is. Very spring-like, I would say. Wouldn't you? I think it's spring-like all over the country. Everybody's experiencing the same kind of weirdness in their own kind of way. It's widespread. Kind of like the band. It should be widespread panic, really. I don't know about this stuff, man. Just makes me wonder, all right? I'm just wondering. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying.
I'm not saying, but I'm saying. If you know what I mean. Just, there's nothing wrong with questioning when not knowing. And I don't have any answers. I just wonder. Let's leave it at that. Time to start tilling the garden. Why not? I mean... It's ready to go. That certainly is a bit of activity up in the air tonight. A lot of jet streams. Keep on a rocking me, baby. <laughs>